Hey everybody, Z Garcia here, and today I'm taking a look at an expansion to the original Azul. This is Azul Crystal Mosaic. This box here basically includes two new things, okay? You are going to get two new boards, board layouts that you can play with. There's enough for four people, of course. And then some plastic layovers that you can put on top of the Azul boards to keep the components in place, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how everything in here looks. I'll show you the two new boards. We'll come on back up here and I'll tell you what I think of it. So here we've got everything you are going to get in the Crystal Mosaic box. You are going to have four new boards here. You're gonna have uh, the rule book and these overlays, four of these overlays. So let me show you how this works, okay? I've got a normal board here so I can compare these side by side and a few tiles to show you the overlay in action. So uh, the rules I'll go ahead and put aside for now. Let's take a look at these boards and I'll come back to the overlays in just a little bit, okay? So, there are two boards. Well, there's four, but there's two sides, okay, to each one. So I'm just gonna flip one over, and we will put that there, and we'll put the other one right there. So there you go, you're getting two new boards to play with as many as four players. Uh, let's take a look at this one first. The first thing you'll notice, and that actually holds true ac across both boards, is that the penalties across the bottom are now different, okay? So they've taken it down from a negative one, one, two, 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 three, three, to negative one, nothing, negative one, negative two, negative one, negative two, and negative three. Basically making the penalties less severe. Busting on this would be a negative uh, 14, I believe. This is 10. Assuming you, again, get at absolutely every spot. So the penalties are less severe on the new board, which is interesting because you would think the new boards would be for experts, perhaps meaning more punishing, but that's not necessarily the case, okay? So that's the first thing. Let's take a look at this here. You've got five special spots that show a times two. Very simply what that means is that type of tile must go on that spot, and when that tile placement scores, you'll get double the number of victory points you normally would. So, for example, if we've got this, like so, and I place uh, that spot, that's the next one that comes over and it goes in there, normally I get one, two, three, four, five, instead I'll get that times two, so that, t that placement last among these gives me ten victory points. There you go. That's basically how that works, and you've got those scattered around the board. Now, taking a look at this one here, you've got also a starting pattern here, but the main change besides this down here is the bonuses are slightly better. Uh, getting a line across gets you three points instead of two, one of each color, or rather all five of one color, 12 points instead of 10, and a column is 10 points instead of seven. So, this one will push you towards getting all five uh, yellow tiles, right? Getting getting one in each uh, line. Or maybe, you know, completing those columns more so than maybe you were worried about on the previous boards. That's it, though. Very subtle kind of change. Very small change. So, let's take a look at these overlays and see what we think of them, all right? So, this is gonna go on here like this. It's just a, it's just a top. There is no bottom to this. You'll just lay that on there. There is a little lip on the outside, so if I move this around, uh, the board should, as long as I'm putting enough pressure on it, the board should move with me. You see I'm, I'm missing it a little bit because this is fairly flimsy. And uh, the edges here are uh, sort of, the bevel kind of goes out, so it, it is moving around on you. But it should stay put, generally speaking. Now. You've got your scoring, and these indentations for the scoring are actually every two spots. There is a new plastic uh, wall that separates spaces from the other two. Whereas these plastic ones down here, uh, for the actual tiles, they, are, they have walls all the way around to really keep something in place. 
Not a big deal. This is just a little strange, and I, I guess I could see why they did it, but you will, if you're gaining one point, say you're on five, and you're gaining one point, you can just slide it over. If you need to go past that point, you, you actually have to pick it up, right? So, a little bit quirky, takes a little good news to, but I could see how having one on every number would get really annoying, perhaps. Um, might be too difficult, might uh, lose uh, or give the, the board too much rigidity. That could, that could be it. These here, I think, are great, and they really do work well. You know, you don't have to worry about these going anywhere. They are very nicely done. And then they even went through the trouble of sort of highlighting the spaces here where you would get the bonuses. I think you can see that. Kind of pointless, but it's a little detail, okay? So there you go. Um, these are cool for specifically the bottom here, the top. I think it's okay, all right? The scoring is all right. It does keep the token generally where it goes, but you might, you know, lose or gain a point, I suppose, if the table's really shaking. I don't know what you're doing if the table's shaking that much, but should be all right. So there you go. Let's go ahead and go back up top. Let me tell you, I guess, who I think this is for and whether it's something you should pick up. I was excited when I first heard that they were putting out an expansion to the original Azul. Not a standalone game, but an actual, you know, uh, add-on to the uh, to the original, which I still very much enjoy. You know, it's not my favorite anymore. I like some of the other ones uh, more, of the, the follow-ups. But I like it. I own it. You know, I, I think it's a great game. And so I was excited about this. Um, I, I think I'm a little disappointed in what comes in here. This is also very inexpensive, okay? So there's that to keep in mind. Uh, you can get this for less than $15, probably closer to $12, something like that. So be aware of that, okay? And I'm largely also going to dispense with my usual target audience system. It doesn't really make sense right now. So yeah, theme, same thing. Aesthetic, same thing. Uh, game arc, same deal. I'm focusing on other things, okay? I'm going to focus on replay value. We're going to start there. I have to say, it's kind of strange that um, the two new boards in here, you would think would be for, I would assume would be for people who are masters of Azul, right? I think that's the idea, right? I mean, you put out an expansion with more boards. Seems like it would be for people who've played Azul a lot and are looking for interesting new challenges. But these just kind of feel like alternate boards. They don't necessarily feel like if you've burned out on, on the basic Azul and you want to spice it up, you know, your, your, your strategic mind has solved the game, take a look at these. No, these are just slightly different. Um, and the one with the times two, the times two side, I think is interesting. I think it's cool. I think holding back on placing those as much as you can to try to get a big boost is nice. But, um, the other side is just sort of an in-between the original fully, you know, like the starting board, fully laid out board and the blank one. It's just sort of an in-between step. Those bonuses, you get more points for, um, the patterns are extremely subtle, you know? And so maybe that's what they're going for. Maybe an expert in Azul is just someone who can tell subtleties apart, who can look at it and go, Z, you're crazy. You're crazy. This is very different, you know? Getting those um, 10 points for a column instead of seven, that, that's a big deal. Maybe it is. I don't think so, but maybe it is, okay? Um, so replay value for me, it's kind of in the middle somewhere because uh, yeah two new boards but they don't feel that distinct okay the plastic overlays i think are for the most part nice yes they're a little bit flimsy okay again 15 bucks but um they work well they definitely hold the plastic azul pieces in place very well the scoring yeah and um that that could have been a little bit better. You know, I just wish, I guess, that they would have gone the extra mile and given you maybe uh, plastic scoring pieces to match. Because my original Azul had a cardboard one tile. Eventually, they made that into a plastic piece to match the other tiles. I was able to get one of those. But the scoring tokens, as far as I know, unless, I, unless they have this and I haven't seen it, the scoring pieces are still just a wooden cube. So I, I, it would have been nice if they had made a fancy thing 
maybe a little plastic pyramid with a, a little shape at the top, one per color. That would have been nice, something easy to pick up and move around. Just something a little fancier, you know, this doesn't, uh, it seems like that could have been one more thing to do and make it extra luxurious, right? That's the idea, I think. Uh, ease of play, it's fine. You know, that's that's very easy to play. Again, no issues there because like, the boards don't feel that distinct, that different, that crazy. The changes there are so subtle that unless you point them out to someone, they might miss them, you know? Like, hey, the, the penalties are different. Oh, yeah. Okay, you yeah. know. Um, and then lastly, tactic, strategy, luck. Kind of the kind of the same thing. I wish that they would have gone a little kookier with the the boards, you know, really done. I don't know, just something a little more bizarre. For one thing, I really wish they would have included the. There's a promo floating out there, which is two factories, factory, uh, you know, the, the the circles that have different rules. Oh, when you take from this factory everything that would fall to the floor. Instead, moves clockwise to the next next factory. There's a couple of them. They have different powers. That feels more, whoa, than these boards do. I wish they would have included that. Or gone with something a little kookier, a little more outside of the box, you know? As it is, this isn't bad. And I think anyone tempted by it knows exactly what they're getting, okay? Um, having seen this, for sure, you know what you're getting, okay? I and 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 I think you're not going to be disappointing disappointed play, paying, you know, 12 or 15 bucks for this for a couple of new boards and some pretty good if flimsy overlays, all right? I just wish that this was more distinct from what comes in the original core box anyway. And if you don't play Azul a lot, I don't feel like you need this, you know? Um that's where I'm at. Okay? That's that's sort of how I feel about it. But if you do play Azul a lot, if the idea of alternate boards, not more challenging, not particularly, you know, different kooky ones, just slightly alternate ones. If that excites you, and you're a huge fan of the overlays, then yes, you'll be fine with this. You'll, you're going to enjoy this, okay? For me, it's alright. I'm going to give this a 6.5 out of 10. I wish there was more, there was more oomph in this box, even if that was a few dollars more, you know? Um, but you can add to that score, that 6.5, if you are, if you, you know, get together with the family and play Azul all the time. You're, you're going to want it, this. So there you go, everybody. That's it for me. That is Crystal Mosaic. I'm Z Garcia, and I will see you on the next one.